Good morning, everybody. Welcome to it. We are back live. Stampede Bar Box, $500 added out of the hidden spot. Calgary, Alberta. How's everybody doing? Absolutely welcome to it this morning. Final day of action here. We have Jonathan De La Cruz and Dave Martin doing battle. <laughs> Welcome to it, Mr. Taylor. How have you been? And once again, guys, if you are just joining us, smash it up, share it up. Final day, ready to rock and roll. Good morning, Eddie. And I know personally these tables are being very stingy on the break. Very tough to make a ball on these tables. Good morning, afternoon, Jerry. Just got done milking the cows and nice. ready to watch. That a boy. Up early, get the chores done so you can uh, join in, watch some Q Sports live action. And I have to think that uh, Jonathan is going to take the high ball here. Or maybe low ball. Low ball doesn't actually look too bad, but does he do, does he have a shot on a low ball? I don't think he does. Not a good shot. No good opener for low ball here. Is he gonna try combo. that? Yeah, is he gonna try that three or nine three combo? Be a good shot if he can make it. A little hit and stick for two. Nope, nope. straight in. Straight for the nine. A little combo action here, 11 14. Kind of got on the wrong side of that, though. Ryan's not I'm, I'm, Ryan's not trusting. I'm getting me. I get a crazy delay delay. You what? Echo. You get an echo? Delay and echo from when I'm talk talking, it comes in a second later and later. Really? So well it's it's you know what that's from? Hmm. It's because we both have our mics on the inside. That's what it's from. Is it? Mm-hmm. Because the mics Oh you got it on the left? Yeah, I got it on the left and we should put them on the right. Can I put it to the, the other, other side? Put it to the other side, because those mics are super sensitive. Hmm. So it's simply just reverbing, reverberating. And good morning, Eddie. Good morning, Jeff. Tuning in on YouTube. We do have both chat lines open. Morning, Lou. How are you, buddy? See if this works a little better. I'm right? still getting a delay in egg. Right, cool. around with his headset test, here. Test, 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 test. <coughs> Can you hear me in that? Yeah. That's, yeah, that, look, that works a little better. That's actually where it's supposed to be. Yeah. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Cooking with some wildfire. Do you want to share my breakfast? Share my breakfast? <laughs> Still messing around with that mic. Yeah. No, oh, that's, there we go. I just... I like hearing it out of the right ear. When oh. I, hearing you coming out of my left side when you're on my right is... <laughs> oh, Messing <Ryan>. with me. 
the jokes, hey, you, you know, it's a good thing you just got out of the hospital because yeah. I'd have ribbed you about that. Well, you guys have had, what, 10 more days using these headsets uh, or yes. more than me. Yes. <laughs> Morning, Richie, South Dakota tuning in. John, how are you? Ryan just set himself up so wow, good. Well. It's dark. It, you know, it's Go a very ahead. good thing. Very, very <laughs> Go good ahead. thing you just got out of the hospital. So Jonathan was looking good, but just over hit, over ran this cue ball a little bit. We'll see how he can oh, nice hit that really good. Look out six. He gets there. He's there and good all day long. Eight passes that three ball, no troubles at all. Just like that. Jonathan Dela Cruz takes game number one. And Mark. They're just warming up over yeah, there. He is finally in the building, was running a little bit late. Yeah, we'll keep it a single screen here until they start. Absolutely. Yeah, the, the uh, new headsets are really good, but the mics are really, really sensitive. So when, when we first used them, Ben and I had them plugged in underneath here. Yeah. And the, the volume in your ears would rattle your brain. That's hmm. why we started trying to figure out where they would go so you could... Oh, you, when you have them under there, it was in both, both yeah. ears, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. And loud. Loud, loud, loud. That's the it same was so loud in our ears, but viewers couldn't hear us. Yeah. Well, it's funny, because when you plugged me in, that's the main you plugged me in, it just both... Oh, yeah. Yeah, same was, yeah. Yeah. Morning, Matt. How are you? And guys, if you are just tuning in, welcome back. Final day here for the Stampede Bar Box, fourth annual. Calgary, Alberta. If you have not ever been to this event, certainly one of my favorites every year. I look forward to this one every year. It's kind of the kickoff to uh, to the Calgary Stampede as well. Uh, which, if you've never been to that as well, what a what a good time to come to Calgary. You get to play in the Stampede Bar Box, and uh, after yeah. the uh, after the tournament, go down and yeah. If you've never party been with to the, the Stampede, rest of the it's, it's awesome. Absolutely. A very good time. Yeah, bring your wallet. Just get down there. It's not cheap. No, it's definitely. I, not I cheap. can't. I can't walk in there without spending a hundred bucks before I leave. Yeah, and that's trying to save money. Well, I'm. I'm not a big ride guy. I, I don't, don't. I don't go on on rides. Um, I'll go watch my kids on rides, but I don't go on them myself. See, I like the rides, but I don't go. It's too. I don't go down there to, to do them. No, I uh, I go down and I walk the exhibits and see all the what, different uh, shows. Yeah, and see what uh, what's new on the markets. So one two combination, six four combo. Just gotta watch the weight here. Oh, he hit it good. Hit it perfect. I just got to worry about breaking that eight out. The rest are sitting good. Yeah, and the eight's not going to be easy to break out from there. He kind of got in, got to get in real good on that three ball to be able to draw. That, or if he can use the seven. Then. Yeah, seven into the side would work, but then you're pushing that eight ball more into that. Looks like they started on the other table there. Martin says, I go to eat. Absolutely. Yep. Some of the food that they have there, they're getting really experimental with their uh, oh, food. The deep fried frog's legs and deep fried all kinds of things. Oh, ice cream and all the different. Yeah, it's crazy that all the new. And they, every year they got a big batch of new stuff to Which, sucker you in. Yeah. Well, and for for a guy like me, I'm, I'm not a very big experimental type of eater. Nope. Ooh, a Jonathan with an open table miss. That's going to leave a mark playing a guy like Dave Martin. Going down there, the, the two things I got to get is a corn dog and the mini donuts. Yes, those are staples. Hello, Karen. And how is everybody doing on this fine Sunday morning? If you are just joining in, guys, help us out. Hit that share button. 
We're in for a great day of pool. Final 12. So you've got, uh, obviously, Kevin and Mark. Jonathan and Dave Martin on the two other tables, Sean Yi and Ben Francis. And then we've got uh, Stephen Halem and Kevin, Kevin Beavis doing battle. Looks and like it's 2 nothing for Ben. 2 nothing Ben Francis. And one nothing for Stephen if they're sitting correctly. Uh, looks like it. I was looking at the wrong scorecard. 6-3 already. That can't be right. No. That's the two ghosts playing each other on table six. Yeah, right. Oh, very good. Well, you'll get to see a lot of good pool uh, following these matches. I believe these are all B-side matches. So following this, we'll have a round of A-side. Right after these two, yeah, 11, yeah. 1130 is the yeah. A semifinals. Yeah. Cass versus Jordan and Kuhn versus... Yeah, Kuhn Dallas played really solid pool this weekend. Kuhn versus Eric. That's Eric it. Vargas, yeah. yeah. Eric's played really well, too. But Eric always plays well. Yeah. Good morning, Terry. And I'm on the see you later side, so I'll be on the mic pretty well, you, much all day. You finished in the money, which is I good. did, Especially yeah. going on to the B side right off. Well, I lost my first match against Jonathan De La Cruz. Look at that shot. How good did he hit it? Oh, uh, oh, I thought Mark hit that really good. Maybe Mark is uh, is low ball. I thought he was actually playing that high ball. Mm -hmm. That's what I get for trying to watch two tables at once. If I could pop one eye out and keep one on one table yeah. and one on the other, I'd be great. If you look at it, cross side works better. <laughs> I don't think Jonathan has to do too much here. Just I think pop you can run in. into the... Yeah, just run into the 12 ball. I don't think he has to hit too hard. I think you can uh, just run into, run full into that 12. Just like that. Oh, you got to make the first shot first. That hurts. <laughs> That's going to leave a mark. That should square things up. I'm a little surprised that Dave's not shooting that 14. Well, I don't he know missed, he missed that, that 13, 10. his first shot. He tried to cheat the pocket a little much. Maybe this is just a first shot, get some confidence. Gotta go, gotta go. yourself even tougher. So he's going to have to play that 11 two rails around to get shape on the 14. So this is what you're trying to shape when you're shooting a 10 is either the draw one rail or forward two and around. I think I like drawing back here. Yeah, with that angle, you don't want to go forward there. You run into the eight. Might over hit. No, nope, he's sitting perfect. Hey, good morning, Neil. Yeah, Three-week road trip. Thanks for streaming with double screens. No problems, Kenny. We'll have a lot of this today because uh, we are down final 12. Stampede Bar Box, fourth annual here in Calgary. Nice little run out from Mr. Martin there after getting out of shape on the first shot. Recovered nicely. And I'm kind of glad these guys are playing, not me, because I do not play good morning pool. Of course, I didn't play, <laughs> play very well last no. night either. By the time I was done my last match, I played three three back-to-back. -back. 
I was talking to Ben yesterday morning. He played his first match great, and he goes, I think he said he thinks he's figured out the morning pool. He likes it now. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm still not a fan of morning pool. Yeah. But I uh, started off strong against uh, against Kevin. We went rack for rack, and uh, then that was that. Couldn't pull it together after that. Uh, Priyash, what time should the finals be? Uh, I'm guessing somewhere between five and eight. Somewhere around there, I think. Depending on uh, the match scores, whether they all go hill hill or kept tight, or depending on how things go. But I would imagine between five, five and eight o'clock, somewhere in there. Morning, Sandra. And once again, guys, it is final day to get in on the viewer advantage. It is viewer advantage number nine. Draw will be today. Right around the time of the finals, it is $20 per pack if you want in. It is the winner's choice to take either the Jacoby Black, the T3 Jump Break Q, the JB Case Plus Cash, the SS360 Plus Cash, or you can just cash out, take the money and run. And if you do want in to win, QSportsLive at gmail.com if you're in Canada. If you are outside of Canada and you do want in it, send a message to the Q Sports Live page. I will get back to you. Instantly, you want to improve your game, either that Jacoby Black or the T3. Absolutely. Just one of the two. Like I was saying yesterday, when I, since I've had my T3, my runout rate has almost doubled. Just it's confidence and it's a little better break. Yeah. Well, they spread out nice. Yeah. I'd prefer if you were still playing. Yeah, me too. I actually did uh, did really well in this event last year. I think I came in fourth last year. Wanda says, put the game back. Not sure what you mean there, Wanda. Yeah, of course, Karen. Anybody can get in, especially if you are, like I say, if you're in Canada, you can email transfer. But uh, if you're outside of Canada, just send a message to the Q Sports Live page, and I'll let you know how you can get in. Uh, one one. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Nope. One, one, one. You are correct. One, one. You use the pure X break. Absolutely. The, the difference between why I think the thumper is probably the best bang for the dollar is because it is a jump break cue. Which typically, um, it's, it's kind of a bold statement to make because typically when you get the jump break cues, they'll either jump really well but not break so good or they'll break really well but not jump so well. And with the T3, it really is the best of both worlds. It, it breaks it, like a sledgehammer, but the jump, jump is, is sickly easy. Yeah, and even with full cue, it's crazy. Yeah. And Jeff, I'm doing okay. Just hard to afford it right now. Yeah, for sure, Karen. Yeah, I mean, you heard Grant and I talk the last year, year and a half about our IQ jump cues and how well that thing jumps. Yeah, absolutely. This thumper jumps as good as that. If not better. Yeah. Well, and it really gives you three cues in one, right? You get the full, full cue jump that is ridiculously easy. And then the th uh, third piece jump which is also ridiculously easy to hit with and then it breaks like a sledgehammer yep i mean ben and i were talking yesterday we, you can jump within about four inches of that ball full cue yep no problem yep and, and within i used uh i used it full cue on an unfortunate eight ball that i hooked myself on and jump full table full cue 
on to control it with back, yeah. bottom, top, whatever oh, you I need guess. on that jump with that full cue is easy. Yeah. Liga made a full length jump together and drew it half the table back and just amazed it it did that. Yeah. Interesting shot there from Jonathan. It could go 10 in the side underneath to break out that 13. And he tried to draw into it and left himself tough. A little bit hampered by the 15 ball. He could get this 9 ball into the top left hand corner. Well, I'm not sure if you can see that 11 up there. He might he can roll up and touch that for a not a bad safe or containing shot anyway. Don't want to sink too many here because you have no breakout on on your 13. Yeah, absolutely. Good morning, Paul. Though I think that 13 plays maybe to the bottom right. I'll take a little closer look when he's done shooting here. That's close. It might go through there. Dave's just going to chip off this seven and kind of yeah. put that cue ball in behind the two ball. I think Jonathan was trying to just throw oh, it up and touch the 11, but yeah. got the nine, which is still a good shot. So I'm actually not bad from Dave there. Nope, that 13. Because the 15 is actually blocked by the seven ball. He's seven created, is blocking the uh, 13 as well, yeah. Yeah. And he actually kind of created some separation between those three balls. So now the six will go into that side pocket, which breaks out the two ball. We are always doing well, Paul. Score with Kevin and Steven. Two nothing, Steven. Hold on. Yeah, it looks like it's four nothing for Ben. Yeah, that's Ben over Sean Yee. And then the other two matches you're watching. And somebody won. I just got. I just put Ozzy. Just did. Vino did. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> this might be another not bad shot for Jonathan to roll up and hit that 11. Even if you hit the 11, though, the problem is Dave can go off that rail, yeah. off the rail, and make the seven still. And that's what he tried to do. I. I don't know if that'll work. But I mean, if Dave goes off that rail, I mean, he's still got to worry about that too, getting shaped to break it out somehow. Yeah, naturally your cue ball is going to want to float to the left yeah. side of the table. So it's a matter of controlling the speed yeah. in which you play that, right? But it does go off the rail, off the seven, float That's over. It. You might even go two rails here. Off the rail, off seven, off the end rail, left rail, back out. Be a little bit of a tactical battle. Are you kidding me? No, we're not. Well, it is a miss, but it's it's one of the good misses. He's yeah. taken now both of the bottom pockets and left Jonathan. Not a whole lot here, so I think this is the point where Jonathan's got to try to kick this door down. Will that 15 play off the rail off seven? Seven's out a little bit far, but. See, there's st still the two ball for Dave to worry about. I'm surprised he's going for that seven. I don't think the seven's actually a bad shot here. Seven ball off the rail, two rails around. The six is sitting in a pocket, so fairly easy to break out that two. 
pretty much from anywhere on the table. Some pretty heavy inside check. Right hand spin just catch the outside of the six. That or you try to draw it straight back into it. A little bit tougher. Yeah. It does go into that right hand side pocket like he was looking to. So if you can check this enough, or a gutsy shot is uh, a ton of right, sorry, a ton of left hand spin and try to go two rails. Just float across that bottom rail, catch the yeah. right hand side rail. Trouble is, he's stretching a little bit to this, too, he so it makes yeah. it a little tougher. Play for the bank side. Uh, bank side won't go. Nope. 13's in the way. That's what he tried to do, is two rail. It's not hard enough. Nope. He's running to it. Does the corner bank go? Yeah. Does he have enough behind the 13? Yes, he does. I think he's looking Just at the kick. Kick into the side. I just looked at the angle for the two to the corner. He'd have to spin a little bit. Just a little tight for the 13. Kick in the two ball. Tight little shot here. Too much rail. Nice attempt. And of course, Dave Martin, one of the owners here at uh, the hidden spot. Should have the home table advantage. He does have home table advantage. Well, and he's also a fairly accomplished player. <laughs> when uh, the Canadian Junior Championships back in the day. Not quite hard enough. Not terrible. I think I'm still taking the nine ball here. I don't like the angle that I've got <coughs> on that 13 ball, so I'm still going to take this nine ball. Oh, he's going to try to play safe. Not terrible. Took away the one rail kick for the easy kick on the two to the side. He's about three inches behind that nine ball, so it's a tight jump. Yeah, Dave's not a jumper. He'll kick. Dave Martin needing to pull out the one time. That is a tough kick back cut. Gonna watch the in off the bottom corner here. Mm -hmm. uh oh, look out eight. Look at this. Oh, I thought he was gonna get snuggled behind that two ball. Get the jelly rub. How are the boys doing? Ben, Steph, and Eric. Eric's ben, not Steven. Yet. Uh, yeah, Eric's on the A side. Both Ben and Steven are in a match. Ben is up four nothing. Steven, Steven is up three. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. And we'll see Eric Vargas more than likely on the string table following these matches. Yeah, those both will both have their A-side quarterfinals. Cass versus Jordan, Eric versus Kuhn. Kuhn Dalbin playing real good pool. A little light from Jonathan, starting to see the morning pool. That's not bad. That gives him angle to come down. He's got to avoid that side pocket. That's a lot of angle. Doesn't look like it on the screen, but that's a lot of angle. Actually, I'm looking at it. It looks... looks. Yeah, I'm staring looks. straight down the barrel. Look out, two ball. Wow. <laughs> Very well done. Very good. 
And we'll give a shout out to one of our local sponsors here. It is Nick's Q Innovations. If you are in need of any tips or repairs, the man is an absolute genius. And you don't have to be local to use him. He's got people from all over Canada that... He's even got a few guys from the States shipping yeah, their stuff shipping, up. Yeah, uh, shipping it. their cues up to have him do them because he's an absolute genius at what he does. He does have some good product for sale too, gloves mm -hmm. and tro some neat chalk holders. And Absolutely. <coughs> Excuse me. Custom built extensions he does that are awesome. Yeah. I got one for my key from him. And Jonathan with the a direct into the side scratch takes the long dark tunnel ride back to the ball return. And uh, BCA rules, so that'll bring Dave to the table, ball in hand anywhere on the table. I'd have to think he's going to go high ball here. Mm. Eno blocked the pocket for the nine ball, but it might be able to scoot by there. Yeah, just play shape on it. Can try to do that now. That's tough. That, unfortunately for Ozzy, got a bad little rub there. <clears throat> and I think this will be quick, quick work on the table here on the left for Dave Martin to tie it up. Yeah, Nick does have his carbon fiber shaft as well. And I'm a little surprised that Dave is taking these, these balls, but. Gets a little bit of funny angle, might have to draw back for the 14 here. I don't know if he can push I for I think it. he can punch through. Yeah. Oh, he punched in. A little bit brave. Yeah, he hit that a little, little, little softer than I would have yeah, to try to punch little, through that. A little flirtatious. I try not to run into balls, although not evident in my game last night. Uh, I think this is going to be Oatesville for, uh, for Dave Martin. 12, 13, 14, 8. I don't think he's got the quite the right angle on the 12 ball. Yeah, I think the only shot Ozzy has got is that 14 to the top left. Yeah, there's really not uh, a good quality safety that you're going to be able to play. a good shot. Blocks. I think he's blocked the bank. No, he hasn't blocked the bank back. <laughs> yeah, that 14 ran a little, little far. He's just got enough to bank it back to that top left. Mm -hmm. Still a really good shot, though. Nice shot from Dave there. That'll tie that ball game. To a piece. And we have that score is wrong. It is 1 1, now 2 1 for Mark V. Uh oh, no. 2 1 for Ozzy. I spoke too soon. Can we commentators curse the cue ball? I think so. You're good at, you're, the, you're the, the wizard at that. I am. I have a very, very strong curse. Play a Jacoby commercial. Okay.
is the commercial from Jacoby, the Jacoby Black. And if you are interested in getting one of those Jacoby Blacks, we do get a little bit of a deal on those. We're saying we can beat the delivery time from Jacoby and their price by a little bit. Well, Jacoby is, uh, I think, six months. So just want to double check again here, guys. Uh, when we ran that commercial, how was the volume on it? I just want to make sure it didn't blast everybody's ears out. depend on uh, on your volume settings as well right so if you've got your phone turned up full blast then it's definitely going to be a little bit loud for Darren. Sanders said it was fine, so kind of a mixed board. Taking a little break there, we'll go back to full screen on Dave's match. Just making sure he wants to leave that cue ball for the 11. Just wants to pop out off the rail just a little bit there. Equal with the talking voice is perfect. That's our new remote. Mm. That's when I was looking into the controllers mm. and they said too much. I suppose. Looks like they got a ball stuck here too.
getting issues with the ball stuck on that right hand table. He had the cue ball stuck on his left hand. Yeah, it's funny, they're both, both not working. Yeah, how to uh, get the balls on stuck on a diamond table. They got a little, if you go straight under the middle, there's a little port underneath that you can reach up and try to clear the track. Looks like it's five nothing for Ben, five nothing for Eric. Nice of Sean to come over from his match and try to play table mechanic. Must have a piece of chalk or two down that got dropped down there. Mm, this will be a little tougher for John here right on the rail. As long as he's got a little bit of angle and not straight, he can... He does have a good angle. He can just roll this in. Delicate little shot. you didn't want that makes it tough hey Kenny how you doing Is now six nothing for Stephen. With Stephen at the table. Nice shot by John. Six nothing with Sean breaking. Big cluster of balls on John's break there. Good shot he's got is that high ball.
Hey, Johnny, thanks for tuning in. Vino's got some balls in the way to shape that eight. He got lucky with the window. Uh, Mark ties it up. Quite the mess here. Yeah, these, uh, John on YouTube there, these tables, they do have a port underneath in the center where you can reach up to the track. Looks like Stevens the winner, seven nothing. And Ben's leading six nothing. Sorry guys, they had the ball stuck on table too there again. I had to go over and give a little suggestion. I had to go ref that shot. He was shooting the 11. He hit the 6 first.
Oh, Mark trying to break that out there, just covered the side pocket for that three ball. Three balls, the only one that's really stuck from Dave for a pocket. But you should be able to move it here. I think that too does pass the four into the side. If not, it's a thin cut on the four into the side. Shot by Dave. I'm sorry, guys. I'm turning the mic off in between me coughing. You guys don't need to hear that. And the top left for the eight ball for Dave. Tie it up. And both Ben and Steven won their matches 7 0. Mark's plan was there. It's right in the middle of nowhere here. Six will cut in that side, but very thin from the angle he's on. But then he's got no real shape on his last ball either. there. Does have his choice of both stripes or solids. Stripes got the tall ball at the top rail there. The issue and then the same with click the tent ball with the three ball blocking. And the 11 doesn't have a home. You might have to take low ball and work on breaking that six out. Start with the seven to the bottom right. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing today or this morning here on Sunday? It's Ryan here, coming in here with uh, Ryan. This is uh, Sean that got shut out back on the mic. <laughs> 
Chandra's last comment there. She feels bad for you. Had to get up early to get skunked. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you mentioned me getting skunked first thing in the morning? Thanks, yeah. buddy. Well, <laughs> everybody's asking if well, you and Kevin in the same boat. You both both yeah. got the 7 0. Yep. Yep. Steven and Ben came to play. I made a couple of mistakes and that was it. And yeah. Yeah, that's it's what tough happens. if you play, play those caliber of guys. That yeah, makes it tough. Well, yeah, it is. But, uh, you, know, it's, you know, we had a long day yesterday and uh, straight goes in the well, early early morning. Yeah, where you're in the money is bonus. Well, yeah, could have been further, but hey, you know, can't complain. Nope. Especially right. in this field. Just some of the best players in Western Canada. Did well to make money. Yeah. Well, last year I did good. You know, last year I finished fourth. I had Grant, that. Grant fourth last year. Mm -hmm. Grant was fourth last year. No, I was. No. Nope. Yep, I was. I was fourth in the stampede. You want to bet on that? I sure. I was fourth in the stampede because I got third in uh, Dave Memorial. I'm sure I was fourth. Bar box 2018. One, two, three, Dave, Steven, Bill, Dave for second, third. Because I know I had to come all the way back. See? Hey, Yomi, uh, Yomi. <laughs> why, Grant did, why is Grant saying he got fourth last year then? He didn't get fourth, I got fourth. He was fifth, sixth. <laughs> oh, Grant was saying he had fourth all the way along, so. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, I'm, uh, I should, uh, you know, twist his fucking, I mean, pardon my language, yeah. twist his uh, arm, pull his ear. Yeah. You know, so. <coughs> yeah, no, I, uh, last year there, I won my first match, and then I came up with Steve and Holman, and uh, he beat me to the, b knocked me to the B-side. So I fought all the way back from the B to finish fourth. But uh, this year I was uh, a couple of matches short. Oh well, but still in the money. Yep. You can't complain. No, I still did. I did good. So I believe uh, later on today we're doing the draw for this. It'll be the, t the towards the championship match. Oh, is it? Yeah, nice. for that viewer advantage pack. Everybody wants in twenty dollars a ticket. Yeah. Your choice of Jacoby Black T3 Thumper Jump Break, mm -hmm. JB Case Plus Cash, SS 360 Plus Cash, or just straight cash. Anybody wants in that uh, in Canada? Email QSportsLive at gmail.com. If you're down in the states. We do have PayPal, but you'll need to message the page, and we'll give you some instructions for that. Dave got that. I think they didn't flip. It's still showing 3-3, but I think it's 4-3 for Dave. Yeah, hey John, there with your um, using the flashlight from your phone there. The only reason why the ball is getting stuck inside there is that usually there's a chalk in there or a penny, something like that, like that will stop the balls coming down. So sometimes you can you you can get underneath the table and there's a little hole in the center. You can actually stick your fingers in there and just kind of push the balls around. Yeah, the diamond tables, yeah, they do have a little port underneath yep. in the center of the table. Yep. Right where all the I work with those tables way too much there. Yeah. We're taking it apart, putting it back together. Good morning to everybody that's uh, just joining in this uh, Stampede uh, Bar Box. I hope everybody's enjoying the view. I hope everybody enjoyed their uh, last night, yesterday, I believe. Well, yesterday and last night, how was that? 
<laughs> I'm getting mixed up here on good, the good morning pull last days. Night. He transferred Q Sports Live. No, just Q Sports Live at gmail.com. Not DC or CA. It's Q Sports Live at gmail.com is our email address. I'll pop it up here quick with this is your choices. And there's our email address. There's your options of what you can choose. Any one of those. Jacoby Black fitted to your queue with your joint T3 jump break. JB case of your choice plus cash. You can do custom GB, JB case up to a $620 value you can get there plus any cash. And the Bob Danielson SS360 sh shaft plus cash. Those are the options. Like I said, if you're in the States and like to enter, just give us a message on our Facebook page. We'll give you the info on how to do that. What we do is we'll take, put your name on a ticket, take a picture of it, send it back to you. We'll do the draw live, either just before or just after the championship match today. Who was this for? Uh, don't know. Grant was doing that. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. I said you want to instantly improve your game that Jacoby Black or that thumper jump break it just makes a huge difference that uh, Jacoby Black there it uh, plays a si similar to uh, Pre Predator Z shaft 2 but it does not play the same as a Z shaft 3 so there's a few little difference right there I play with the Z shaft 2 the originals well second edition and uh, I had that uh, shaft there for probably last nine years and it was still made in Canada and U.S. before it uh, started Switched being... Switched to uh, China. Yes. The wood texture between over there and here is... Uh, there's a huge difference. I don't know if anybody's out there tried those carbon fiber shafts. It just did transfers every ounce of energy into that ball. You can hit a lot lighter. The spin and control you can get off there is just amazing. Yeah, it does. actually... Uh, you don't have to force your shot. You, you know, that shaft will actually do the work for you. You might have to just do like a couple of adjustments just to get used to it. Oh, before, it's, it takes you know. it takes a little bit to get used to, but it's yeah. it's amazing. You're thinking you need to put this, uh, you know, this much juice, but it actually uh, oh, yeah, you, you ease off on your juice comparing to yeah, uh, using over, the maple shaft. Over spinning and yeah, yeah. over drawing everything. That's which is you get used to that. It's nice. You can hit a lot lighter. Not need you don't need to put as much spin on the ball. You don't have to play as much outside or inside or low. You can hit more center of the cue ball and it puts the same amount of spin on it, which improves your accuracy. Do I need to put forward number on this too? Or no? no. You guys all know me. And then uh, with that thumper, I mean, did the power you get out of that thing? Again, you only have to hit about three quarter speed gives you more control. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And it jumps better than almost any other jump cue out there. It's insane, even full cue. full screen here <laughs> just broke on the other table and we got back uh, John and Dave Martin at the table John broke and he made a made a ball yeah, I think both, both, both these guys yeah. made a ball on yeah. each each of their breaks I believe there hasn't been dry one but they're doing that second ball break which yeah ties yeah. up a lot of balls well I was uh, doing second ball break this morning and you know I was making balls up break but I just couldn't finish I was getting in trouble overthinking and that's the worst thing to do is overthink your shots. Yep. And make it till they missed a couple games over there. It is 3 3 on their table, so make it 4 3 for Kevin. Well, that'll be good. He's actually one of my horse. Is he? Yeah. And <laughs> Shannon's got Vino. Oh. 
<laughs> Why? trouble with highball here is up 13. I don't think it comes down to this bottom left corner. Uh, 13? Uh, no, it doesn't. He can play the 9, kind of come across and uh, get the break. But he's just got to hit that ball out, uh, properly. He's got a chance off the 14 on the side too. Yep, that, that's right, yep. So now we got Ozzy here. He's going after it right now. We got Ozzy. Just m broke. He just broke and he made a ball. Oh, that's not what he wanted. I don't know if you can see that. Well, 11. I think, well, he might, he might be able to see the 11 ball. Yeah, I think even, if he's, even if he's got to jump a quarter of that ball, I think that's that's the shot. You don't yeah. want to try bridging over top to the other one. Thanks, Blake. Good morning to you, too. How was your morning? Ozzy's looking good for this table here, too. Everything's sitting up pretty nice. Yeah. Good morning to everybody that's just jo uh, tuning in. Uh, you know, uh, Hit the share button bottom of your left corner, share it to your views and you know, uh, whoever. Get them into the game, get them to the view. It's Sunday. Nobody has anything else better to do than watch, right? Mark, don't be doing that. Yeah, it's, I mean, I'd, uh, took me around that, it took me a couple of days of playing and it's still on certain shots and well, take you. Take you a couple of weeks to to get used to it. Well, that too, and the plus at the same time is uh, your tip preference too. Yeah, it comes with the Kamui Soft. That's um, that's one thing I don't like. I don't like the Kamui Soft. They, I uh, used I used to play with it. I switched to the Longazi Medium Soft, which yeah. is an amazing tip. And once once I've worn through this Kamui, because I don't mind it, I'll be putting going back yeah. to Longazi, but. Well, the thing is with the Kumi Soft is that they're way too soft, and if you're playing, for example, if you played about three, four days straight, it it mushrooms. comes, yeah, it mushrooms way fast. And then you gotta, you know, play with your tip. And then you gotta readjust a little bit, you know. I played with the Kumi Soft there for probably just two weeks, and after that, I'm like, nope, I don't want it. I took it off. Went back to uh, the Morier Soft. The Morier Soft that's uh, back in the days used to be good. Now you can't even get them. It's hard. It's rare. It's hard to get. They don't make them anymore. Yeah. How can you see the draw? We'll do the. Oh, it's on challenge. We got the brackets. If you look right underneath the top there in the black, that's the direct link to the to the brackets online. a game back here pretty quick. It's a break and run here. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm cheering for my horse. Not playing favorites. <laughs> right now I'm out I'm out of the match though. I'm uh, I'm playing favors here. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Ball in hand, that's gonna hurt. That eight passes to the top right. I think I take maybe high ball.
Don't think you want to nick that. Middle 13. of nowhere. Yeah. You need, you need Got a hit thin that. cut on the nine, but that's bringing the cue ball down around the bottom. You could have to spin it around all those balls, <laughs> or you're shooting over top. No, well, he still have a shot at a 15. Yeah. I mean, at 11. Bri I mean, bridging over top of the. Or he could shoot the 10. Good shot. A little bit, a little bit too much. Yeah. See, I, I probably would have shot, would have preferred shooting the 10. And that way you can come back two rails. Yeah. Now he's bridging over top of that nine again towards yeah. the 10. I can get just beside it. Nothing like shooting over the ball. Yeah, once you get out of shape once, it's, it makes it tough to get back in. You want to draw this into the one just like that. Dave took that other one. Five, three for Dave. All right, Dave broke drive, and we have John at the table. Vino gave him that eight ball. Oh. Once he's at five, not six. And or was that six? Yeah, it should be six. And Dave's at five. Five, three. Yep, yep, five three, six three. Yeah, we started with the final twelve players this morning. And we're going to be down with a final eight after this. Well I know I'm not in there. <laughs> I had a bad morning. Bad morning play. But that happens. Well, Ozzy's got a good, good shot at low ball here. Yeah, Ozzy's tough to beat on a bar box. Well, especially when you, when you're on the on the roll there, you're unstoppable. Okay. I thought he played that little bottom inside. Yeah. Good job. There you have it there, folks. We have Ozzy has uh, won the match against Vino. Score was 7-3. Drawn yes, it is that uh, that uh, black uh, community. It's oh, it's softer than the original uh, community soft. There's two different uh, community soft. See, and I don't mind the. I didn't. I didn't think the soft that came on my black was the soft as the ones I used to used to have mm -hmm. on my. There is there there is a uh, is actually two different uh, yeah. community soft, and. Um, just finding the right one, it's yeah. not too bad, but you still have to fix the tip because the world's kind of mushroomed down the road. I'm playing with the G2 tip, and it's actually, um, it's, I play with the G2 soft, actually. And so far, it's been good with me, and I had it on here for the last uh, 
four weeks and uh, had not uh, mushroom at all yet. Well, that's the same with the Wangazi medium soft. I had it on uh, my SS360 shaft that I played with. For I had it for about three and a half months, and then I gave that shaft to Ben, mm -hmm. and he's played with it for eight months, and that tip was still perfect in the amount that Ben plays five, six days a week. Yeah. Yeah, there is actually another tip there. I know uh, uh, Ben and uh, Joe Spence and Eric Vargas, they kind of play with the same tip, and uh, it hasn't uh, mushroom at all. It's just, you know, it's just dropping down every time because you're, you're talking a lot, right? But it still holds its shape. It doesn't have mushroom at all, barely. <laughs> so everybody, you know, everybody has their preference of what the tip they like to use because, you know, everybody shoots differently. Yeah, well, if you've got the option to try a few out, yep. I know it gets expensive changing them around, but... Well, I think I changed mine at least uh, three times out of the year. I don't, I don't know. I prefer having mine play down to, you know, once it gets uh, past the uh, half line to quarter line, then that's when I change them. Yep. Where the other players still have theirs on until... It's almost falling off, and the next thing it's like you take one shot, you're, you're going to lose that tip, and you miss that shot, and it costs you that game or something, right? And another thing is, too, you know, it's nice to have a spare shaft because that way, you know, if it comes down to that situation where your tip falls off, you do have another, yep. another cue, right? I'm not sure how many players out there have t two shaft, two shooter shafts, but you know, it is nice to have two. I always have a uh, backup. I'm lucky, I, lucky enough, I got four. Well, you mean uh, you got about uh, 10 or more? Well, that. yeah, if I got, <laughs> well, I got four for my playing queue I'm playing with now, but I got four other playing queues with probably 10 shafts between those ones as well. But yeah. it helps when I buy and sell and deal and a bunch of oh, yeah. yeah. collect. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to have to sell a bunch here. Need some cash, there'll be some good deals. I'll post mm -hmm. those up. I got a really nice prevail with three shafts it was they've all been totally refinished it's a brand new queue again oh yeah oh that's good uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah prevail is uh, made from uh, jerry pepin there yep. he does a pretty excellent job on uh, custom queue making yeah his jump queues are amazing yeah i actually just got two brand new ones that he owed me i'm gonna put those up for sale here as well too So if anybody's looking for a cue, message me. Oh, that's nice a good little touch. That was a good shot. Excellent. Nice low weight. I used the cyborg soft for quite a while there too. Cause I think I got a cyborg soft on one of those one of those shafts. And how is that weight? Oh, well, just a short. He put English on it when he, he didn't really need to. He could have just topped it or blow top right, come out, and he would have had two pockets to play with yep. instead of uh, no pocket. Lloyd, what uh, what joint do you have? Because we have we have a few. I have a few as well. I got none, so I can't help you with that going. Yeah. <laughs> I have two uh, 12 by 24 dealer cases, and then I got two 4 by 8, and now my uh, 3 by 6 JB. So I got a few, well, and I got two Predator cases that are pretty much brand new mm. that I'm going to sell. They're 3 by 5s. Actually, there's one thing I'll. Uh, what I really like that I see and notice is that the JB cases, they actually come with uh, three storage. Back. Oh, those big pockets are awesome. Those pockets are, you know, you actually, you got the little small one on your top there, you can put your chalk in there, and then you got your medium one, and you got your large one for whatever accessories that you need to carry with you, you know. Where, you know, the other ones where you have one big large one or two with the medium and the large, yeah. right? 
I'll have to check and see uh, Lloyd, see if we got that off to go through. It's been <laughs> been a while since I checked what we have. Ben and Grant run around with them for the last couple months. Oh. And um, and uh, that's a... <laughs> the only thing he got lucky with is those two balls tying up on the side there. Well, that's but Dave can use the four to break those out. Yeah, he gets the ball in hand and breaks it. Yeah, it's ball in hand for you, Dave. Tough there, but Dave should be okay. Sean's sitting beside me, yep. Yeah. Yes, it is. Ryan and Sean. How's it going there, Lloyd? I hope you're doing better than I was. So, other than that, you know. So far, I'm just, uh, I don't know, I'm on here. I was playing this morning, but uh, I didn't have enough uh, feel on me. And, um, you know, making a couple mistakes and all that doesn't help. So, you know, that's the way it goes. Yeah, Ben's, Ben's figured out his morning pool, so. Yeah, he got He me. said he likes it now. He used to hate it, but he, he enjoys it now. And, I mean, if you're going to win tournaments, you gotta got to get used to playing in the morning because... Chances are you're going to end up having a morning match. Well, he's lucky that he didn't call me and pick him up because I, I probably said no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, where is he going? That'll work out. Play the three, give him a little better shape. Hey, Nicola. Yeah, uh, me and uh, Ben, we played this morning, and uh, he wasn't nice to me. I would just say it that way. But other than that, he played good, and I just uh, played, uh, you know, not the greatest. Not the greatest this morning. I left, I don't know, I left him off the hook. I told him I'm going to come back and get you next time. <laughs> Dave's on the hill. So good morning to the viewers that's just joining in to the Q Sport Live, to the Calgary Stampede. This is our last day for the event. We also have the ladies top eight, and they are playing upstairs on the valley table. Um, to find out where they're sitting or who's in there, you can actually log into the Shalon to the uh, ladies uh, Lady Stampede Bar Box, I think. There you go. Lady Stampede Bar Box. And that would tell you who's all in the top eight bracket. Three balls. Big break. <coughs> yes. That's good he switched break. from the second ball and just hammered that. So, yes, uh, please uh, hit the share button and uh, share it to all your other viewer friends. 
whoever else around the no will. Keep sure and hit that button there, folks. Yeah, you can share it to all the different groups you're members exactly. of as well. That's right. Yeah, coming up right after this, we'll have uh, Eric Vargas versus Kuhn Dow and Jordan versus Cass. Yeah, uh -huh. that's right. I see Kuhn, Jordan, and Eric warming up right now on the other tables. Yeah, Laura, you can actually message them through the CCL, CCI email, or else you can personally uh, message them on Facebook too. Yeah, you can look way. up Ryan Epp. You can look up my profile and message me there, or just send me a message through Q Sports Live or Q Sports Live at gmail.com. Any one of those will work. Or, you know what, Martin? I'll, uh, Lloyd, sorry, I'll look. See if I can find you and I can send you a message. Lloyd, I just sent you a message to your inbox. You'll have to accept that from my personal page. Oh, that was uh, unlucky there. Got himself hooked. Eric's practice his break over there. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but he's trying to break the cue ball. Good morning there, Rick. You're just tuning in here with uh, Dave Martin and John DCL. John, Jonathan De La Cruz. DLC. He's tough. What did I say? DLC. <laughs> DLC. Well, that's oh, yeah, DLC. Yeah. De La Cruz. Yeah, there we go. Something like that. <laughs> Tie up the eight ball. Ooh, nope, he didn't get there. He did not get what he wanted to do. He wanted to tie up the two and the five. That was a tough hit trying to get around, so he's just trying to tie some stuff up. Yeah. Well, it's good afternoon there for you, sir, Wayne. It's a still a good morning here for us. Just another uh, 20 minutes before it's noon. Noon o'clock. Yes. Big lucky 12 0. That's not bad. He's made that eight tough here with. Dave had to break these two balls out. Yes, he does, because uh, right now he's got to... Got to worry about that five. Well, he has to do something with the five. And then the eight, too. Mm -hmm. yeah, that works. Well, he, he, can doesn't save, he can save the five to last now and shape the eight for the top right. No, well, he has uh, two pockets, actually. He can shoot the eight in the corner or eight in the side. Yeah. It's all depending well, I think, on the I think I'm leaving, going to try to leave the five for my final ball to roll up for that eight in the top right. It all depends on which uh, pattern he wants to take. Yeah. He's got a little more angle on this than he wanted. I'll have to try to slow roll this or go back and forth twice. No, I would just go back. He'll probably slow roll it. Just like that. That thing is not going well, back. Well, actually, uh, he can 
I think leave the seven for his last ball too to play that eight in the side pocket. But well, the thing is, if you go back and forth, you know, you know, you need to get back again. Yeah. You could end up be on the rail, which yeah. you don't want to. You want to be making sure you have an angle on your yeah. next shot. Right? Now he made that tough hit in that seven ball. So we'll have to shape it off the four somehow, which means you'll want a good angle. That. Well, that gives uh, John back of the table here. And Dave just gave him the game. So now the score is six. Why? Oh. No, it's on a single screen. There's hot keys that I can press to change the score. Oh. Yep. I see what you're doing. Yep. So, yeah, I can uh, take away. Gotcha. Just when we got the split screen, it doesn't do it. Then you have to click on the scoreboards. And oh, okay. Yeah. I gotcha. No worries. Hey, Albert. Yes, he got lucky. All right, let's see what the dry break, dry break again. With low ball sitting pretty good. Yep, he does. But he, needs to, he needs to make one first. I think I start with a three in the side, maybe. He needs to make one ball first to continue on. Three or the one ball. Well, the one ball is too far distance, and then you try to control. Three is pretty, no, it's not too bad. It's a little closer shot to you. Yeah. You want to work there, you want to have the work close to you, not too far away. So with that angle coming off that three, you got to watch where that cue ball is going to drift down to the right side of this table. Well, it, it will kind of go straight down, yes. down in between. If he gets it down there, he'll still have a shot at the four, at, I mean, at the seven or the four. Depends on where the key ball lands. If he's a little short sided, you know, he might just have the shape of the seven. Yeah, so he's going for the one. Yeah, he's going I, for I the like one. that too. He's being a little aggressive. It's just whatever you're comfortable with. Yep. Now, I don't know if he's got a good angle mm. on the five. I'd maybe take that. Mm. Although you want to leave yourself a ball down here for that eight ball. So yeah, that's true there, Blake. Um, no, John should have been shot shooting those out. And, uh, you know, given the game like that, you know, you can uh, make a mistake on that one shot and, you know. You may try to break the five out here, play a little inside. But I think that next time uh, for the next event like this, that uh, we're gonna have to make it where it's stated that you must shoot, 
your your eight ball down yeah, no, before conceding. No conceding. It. If you're going if you're going to concede the game, you're going to lose a game. Yeah, a lot of a lot of times we have. Yeah, if you concede a game, you lose a second one. Yeah. Well, you lose that game. You lose the game, and then your other partner gets an extra game, basically. Yep. So you can going to see you know, this game. And you're that's uh, one more. Yeah. And the thing is, you know, that'd be brought to the meeting, and now that's up to you to remember that, because if you don't, that is your own fault. <clears throat> yeah, these guys are, the chances are they're going to miss those or pretty slim but anybody can miss you at any yeah. time or something happens you can get you can get off shape accidentally and you know you're drilling there is like oh yes i got two balls left now all i gotta shoot is shoot the eight well you know those two balls can could make a uh, make a mistake there for you because you're not concentrating and it's like right now looking like john is struggling to keep you know he's struggling with the cue ball right now he's gonna be a little hampered here yeah Well, you know, he and can make this work. Well, with his angle here, you'd want to play a little inside on that because he wants to come down and shoot the five next, but that but makes it real tough for the way he's over top of that 14 ball. That's true there, Jeff. Any shots can be missed. They should have been shot out. Well, that makes it easier for the eight ball, but again, shooting over top of the ball here. And this angle is going to take him almost straight into that 10. He can maybe play some inside and come around the 10 way up table, but he's going to put a good stroke on it. He's hooked. He uh, tried to go inside and come around everything. But uh, that was an unlucky, uh, unlucky shot there. It was a good shot, but unlucky uh, shape. That's the one thing you should know with the ball, and then you try to fight that cue ball control now. It doesn't help you at all. Has he got any of that, Sean? Can you see from your angle? No, he can't. So he might have a he cross play, corner, but. He might have to try, uh, try something fancy. He could actually uh, play off the rail and kick it in. I but don't know now can, I don't know if he can get inside enough. He can maybe kick it down to this bottom left. Yeah, yeah. that's what I mean. He can yeah. kick it into the bottom he can, left. He can't kick it to the right corner. And then the, pop, the problem is now he's got to try to hold that cue ball come yeah. here. Right. Yeah. Off the rail, cut to the bottom left. But he's got to hit it hard. I, I mean, no, he doesn't have to hit it hard. He has to hit it kind of medium hit. Yeah. But now he needs that weight of that five. The weight of that five ball to get down there. Well, if he hits it good, he's running running towards the eight. Yep. Yeah. Eight ball's got three pockets right side and the bottom two corners. So I'll have to get a little lucky off of this too. The only nice thing is Dave's got those three balls tied up on the rail there, but well, makes it makes an easy safe to hide in behind one of those two. Well, that's the thing. That's you know, it's good for Dave there if he gets back at the table late. Uh, 
Good try. Good try. Actually, he's left it pretty good. Well, no, this is a uh, this shot here. He can actually. Uh, okay. He can put him right behind the eight. But then you know, uh, if John gets up, and then he can long, uh, long kick it to the corner. Side. Oh, he's going to bend corner. <coughs> That's the bank corner. That cue ball's running to those three up on the right hand side. Um, well, that's it. Um, unless he must get lucky and run into the 13. Yeah. Or run into one of those balls, or at least he still have a shot on the eight, right? But now, if he takes that bank side, <laughs> yeah. So if he takes that bank side, he has to control that cue ball, just only by you know two cushion come back out. I would probably prefer taking the bank uh, side instead of the bank corner but now if you're taking the bank corner you know he's good no I think, might th think you see Dave run into the oh, take this one first I'd run into the 12 and leave a safe but or the yeah he was just going to play safe and push that 14 out no oh, he's going for the run out but now you might see him play oh, yeah. safe no he pushed that nine out so he can just uh, you know shoot the 12 come out and shoot the nine and 14 right but I think I would prefer just playing a safe shot there and, uh, you know, I would shoot, shoot, shoot the 14 onto the 9. Yeah. Because basically right there, he's hooked right between the 8 and the 9. <coughs> but, you know, who knows? Everybody has the different ways. See, of I'd want the angle if I was shooting that 9 on the side to break the 14 off of there and make it a little easier. But Yeah, but he's still got to work with the 10 and 11 ball yeah. too, right? There we go. And a good shot there. He wants to get this over with. He knows he only needs one game here to win the match. So that's all right. Those little top right come around. Nice. He'd almost want straight on that and just pop mm -hmm. off the rail just a touch for the 14. Mm -hmm. Want to be almost straight on that 14, maybe an inch or two off well, the rail. Well, right now, I would probably shoot the 14 instead right now because even though he's got the angle, but, uh, you know, the 14's got longer longer run to the rail. He's got the 11 in a little shorter rail, so, you know. Yeah, he's looking to play it safe, just get that 14 off the rail. Yeah, yeah I think he's going to he can make play that or... You just got to replace the cue ball where the 14 is. Let's roll up and just tap it off the rail and you're sitting good. It is, but in the, down, in the downfall, John could you know, play kick safe and then you know, something happens oh, and nice you can't shot. get back to the table, right? And yeah, exactly, you know, earlier, so, you know, I said, shoot the 14, then you got your 11 ball. It's only a foot away from the pocket, so you know you're sitting good. And there you have it, here, folks. He needs to make his eight ball. Last time he was on the eight ball, he missed. So let's we'll see what happens here. There you go, That'll folks. What we're going to do is we're going to shut down 
the stream will restart when we got the next two matches. It'll be the A-side semifinals on both these tables. So we'll get the scoreboards reset, and when they're ready to play, we'll start the stream back up. So thanks for tuning in. We'll be back in the next, I'd say, 10 or 15 minutes.